AIDS AIDS is caused by human immunodeficiency virus, shortly called HIV. HIV is a retrovirus and has RNA as genetic material. HIV infects and destroys helper T cell. The HIV targets the immune system and weakens people's defense against many infections and some types of cancer that people with healthy immune systems can more easily fight off. As the virus destroys and impairs the function of immune cells, infected individuals gradually become immunodeficient. Immune function is typically measured by CD4 cell count. Transmission of AIDS Sexual intercourse with infected person Exposure to blood or blood products of infected person Perinatal transmission or vertical transmission during delivery or through breastfeeding Exposure to body fluids like semen, vaginal secretions, saliva, tears Diagnostics test for HIV and AIDS Number 1. ELISA test Enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. This test is sensitive in chronic HIV infection, but less sensitive for recent infection. If ELISA test is positive, the Western Bolt test is usually administered to confirm the diagnosis. Number 2. Western Bolt. This is a very sensitive blood test used as a confirmatory test for HIV infection. Number 3. Viral Load Test This test measures the amount of HIV in the blood. It is used to monitor progress of treatment or to detect early HIV infections. Number 4. CD4 Cell Count This test is useful for monitoring progress of the disease. How to manage the situation? HIV disease can be managed by treatment regimens composed of a combination of antiretroviral ARV drugs. Current antiretroviral therapy does not cure HIV infection but suppresses viral replication and allows an individual's immune system recovery to strengthen and regain the capacity to fight off opportunistic infections and some cancers. ART is usually a combination of two or more medications from several different drug classes. This approach has the best chance of lowering the amount of HIV in the blood. There are many ART options that combine multiple HIV medications into one pill taken once daily. People living with HIV will be provided with lifelong ART including children, adolescents, adults and pregnant and breastfeeding women regardless of clinical status or CD4 cell count. Protecting against HIV infection Abstain from sharing sexual fluids like semen and vaginal fluid. Reduce the number of sexual partners to one. Always use latex condoms. If the patient is allergic to latex, non-latex condoms should be used. However, they will not protect against HIV infection. Do not reuse condoms. Avoid using cervical caps or diaphragms without using a condom as well. Always use dental dams for oral, genital or anal stimulation. Avoid anal intercourse because this practice may injure tissues. 
Avoid manual anal intercourse. Do not ingest urine or semen. Avoid sharing needles, razors, toothbrushes, sex toys or blood contaminated articles. All patients should be educated about non-penetrative sexual activities such as body massage, social kissing, mutual masturbation, fantasy and sex films. Inform previous, present and prospective sexual and drug using partners of their HIV positive status. If the patient is concerned for his or her safety, advise the patient that many states have established mechanisms through the public health department in which professionals are available to notify exposed people. Avoid having unprotected sex with another HIV seropositive person. Cross infection with that person's HIV can increase the severity of the infection. Avoid donating blood, plasma, body organs or sperms.